After going through this lecture we should be able to predict the major product for each of the following transformations. Similarly we should also be able to identify the reagents that should be employed to accomplish each of the following transformations. In this lecture we will discuss how volhard zelinsky reaction of carboxylic acids. The preparation of monoalpha halocarboxylic acids by treating the corresponding carboxylic acid with elemental halogen, Cl2 or Br2, but not I2 or F2, at elevated temperatures in the presence of catalytic amounts of red phosphorus or phosphorus trihalide, PCl3 or PBr3, is known as the helvolhard zelinsky reaction, HVZ reaction. For example, when this carboxylic acid is treated with halogen in the presence of PX3, alpha haloacyl halide is formed. This is then hydrolyzed to form alpha halocarboxylic acid. If the reaction is started with acyl halide, it can be directly treated with elemental halogen and no catalyst is needed. On heating, alpha haloacyl halide is formed. The alpha haloacyl halide can be treated with different nucleophiles to form various alpha halogenated carboxylic acid derivatives. Thus alpha haloacyl halide can be either hydrolyzed to form alpha halocarboxylic acid or reacted with nucleophiles to form alpha haloacid derivatives. This halogen is not from elemental halogen but from catalyst phosphorus trihalide. So we will write these as green color as in catalyst. Moreover, halogen from the catalyst doesn't enter the alpha position of the acid. For example, when this carboxylic acid is treated with chlorine in the presence of phosphorus tribromide, the product has chlorine at alpha position and not bromine. This confirms that halogen from catalyst doesn't enter the alpha position. This is also obvious from the reaction given above. Elemental halogen is depicted in red color and catalyst in green. The halogen in red color enters the alpha position and green from catalyst replaces hydroxyl group of acid to change it into acyl halide, which can be changed into various acid derivatives like ester, amide, and other derivatives. The mechanism consists of two parts. The first part of the mechanism is conversion of carboxylic acid into acyl halide in the presence of PX3. Since acyl halides undergo halogenation without a catalyst, it is considered that red phosphorus and halogen first form phosphorus trihalide. Red phosphorus is reasonably airstable unless provoked, such as when it is dragged across a rough surface. This makes it useful for applications like match heads. Another allotrope of phosphorus, white phosphorus, needs no provocation to spontaneously combust in air and is often used in munitions. When treated with carboxylic acid, the carbonyl oxygen interacts with PX3 so that halide ion is eliminated and PO bond is formed. The driving force is formation of stronger PO bond at the cost of comparatively weaker PX bond. The halide anion then attacks the electrophilic carbon so that positive charge on oxygen is balanced and form the tetrahedral intermediate. This intermediate restores a new pi bond between carbon and hydroxyl oxygen and loses a molecule of HOPX2 to form acyl halide. The second part of the mechanism is conversion of acyl halide into alpha haloacid. The acyl halide undergoes tautomerization to form the enol. 
The halogen subsequently reacts with the enol to afford the alpha haloacyl halide, accompanied by the loss of a hydrogen halide. The alpha haloacyl halide is then subjected to hydrolysis to afford alpha haloacid. HBZ reaction has many applications. For example, the alpha halogen can be easily replaced by nucleophilic reagents to give various useful substituted products, example alpha amino and alpha hydroxy acids, which are of biochemical significance. For example, on treatment with sodium hydroxide, the alpha halogen is replaced by hydroxy group to afford lactic acid. Similarly on treatment with ammonia, the alpha halogen is replaced by amino group to afford alanine. Likewise alpha halogen can be replaced by cyano group on treatment with sodium cyanide, which on hydrolysis form alkyl malonic acid. Consider for an example this acid, let us predict the major product when it is heated with bromine, in the presence of catalytic amount of PBr3. We have learned that phosphorus tribromide converts acid into acyl bromide, which on treatment with bromine form alpha bromoacyl bromide. This, on hydrolysis converts acyl bromide into carboxylic acid with bromine on alpha position. Similarly let us predict the product when this acid is treated with bromine in the presence of PBr3. As depicted in previous example, the acid on treatment with PBr3 converts carboxylic acid into acyl halide, which on treatment with elemental bromine forms alpha bromoacyl bromide. This on hydrolysis gives alpha bromocarboxylic acid. Let us identify the reagents that should be used to accomplish the following transformation. This is benzyl bromide and target product is alpha bromocarboxylic acid. We will do the retrosynthetic analysis of the target product, that is, synthesis backwards. The product alpha bromoacid can be made from the corresponding carboxylic acid via bromination at the alpha position. That is via HBZ reaction. For that, we need to treat acid with Br2 in the presence of PBr3, followed by hydrolysis. The carboxylic acid can be prepared via hydrolysis of the corresponding nitrile. The nitrile can be made from the starting material, benzyl bromide, via an SN2 process in which cyanide is used as a nucleophile. For example, sodium cyanide. Now let's draw the synthesis forward scheme. Benzyl bromide is treated with sodium cyanide, giving an SN2 reaction that result in formation of a nitrile. Upon treatment with aqueous acid, the nitrile is hydrolyzed to give a carboxylic acid which has alpha hydrogen. Bromination at the alpha position is then achieved by treating with Br2 in presence of catalytic amount of PBr3, followed by hydrolysis, which is called HBZ reaction. Alternatively, benzilbromide can be converted to Grignard reagent benzyl magnesium bromide. This Grignard reagent, upon treatment with carbon dioxide, followed by acid workup, gives carboxylic acid. The carboxylic acid having alpha hydrogen is susceptible to HBZ reaction to give the desired product alpha bromocarboxylic acid. Thus the conversion of benzyl bromide into alpha bromobenzylic acid can be carried out by sequential treatment with reagents, sodium cyanide, followed by hydrolysis, then bromination in presence of phosphorus tribromide, followed by hydrolysis. 
Similarly, the conversion of benzyl bromide into alpha bromobenzylic acid by second alternate synthesis scheme can be carried out by sequential treatment with reagents magnesium to form Grignard reagent, then carbon dioxide followed by aqueous acid workup, then Br2 in the presence of PBr3, and finally hydrolysis. Let us identify the reagents that should be used to accomplish the following transformation. This is primary alcohol and target product is alpha-bromocarboxylic acid. We will do the retrosynthetic analysis of the target product, that is, synthesis backwards. The product is an alpha-bromocarboxylic acid which can be prepared from the corresponding carboxylic acid via helvel hardzelinski reaction. The acid can be prepared from primary alcohol by oxidation. Now let's draw the synthesis forward scheme. The primary alcohol on chromic acid oxidation gives carboxylic acid. This has alpha hydrogens and upon treatment with Br2 in presence of PBr3, followed by hydrolysis, that is HVZ reaction gives target compound. Alpha bromocarboxylic acid. Thus, the conversion of primary alcohol into alpha bromocarboxylic acid can be carried out by sequential treatment with reagents, sodium dichromate in acidic medium. Then bromination in presence of PBr3, followed by hydrolysis, affords the target compound. Let us find out the product formed by subjecting this carboxylic acid to bromination in presence of PBr3, followed by reaction with methylamine under basic conditions. This carboxylic has alpha hydrogen. Therefore, treatment with Br2 in the presence of PBr3 leads to HVZ reaction. This forms alpha bromoacyl bromide, which, on treatment with methylamine in the presence of triethylamine, converts the halide into amide derivative. Similarly, let us predict the product when this carboxylic acid is treated with bromine and red phosphorus followed by hydrolysis and then treatment with methylamine. In this case, the carboxylic acid has alpha hydrogens and upon treatment with Br2 in the presence of PBr3 leads to HVZ reaction. This forms alpha bromoacyl bromide, which upon hydrolysis forms alpha bromocarboxylic acid. This, on further treatment with methylamine, undergoes SN2 substitution to replace bromine with nitrogen nucleophile. Let us find the product formed by subjecting this primary alcohol to chromic acid oxidation, followed by bromination via HVZ reaction then treatment with this acid. The primary alcohol under these reaction conditions undergoes chromic acid oxidation to form corresponding carboxylic acid, which has alpha hydrogens. This on treatment with Br2 and PBr3 undergoes HVZ reaction to form alpha bromoacyl bromide. The alpha bromoacyl bromide on treatment with acid leads to formation of acid anhydride derivative as usual, with bromine in the alpha position unaffected.